क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ऑफ जेई मेन टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन रोलर इज मेड बाई ज्वाइनिंग टूगेदर टू कॉन्स एट द वर्टिस ओ इट इज केप्ट ऑन टू रेल्स ए बी एंड सी डी विच आर प्लेस्ड ए सेमेट्रिकली विद इट्स एक्सेस पेंडिकुलर टू सी डी एंड इट्स सेंटर ओ एट द सेंटर ऑफ लाइन ज्वाइनिंग ए बी एंड सी डी इट इज गिवेन अ लाइट पुश सो दैट इट स्टार्ट रोलिंग विद इट्स सेंटर ओ मूविंग पैरल टू सी डी इन द डायरेक्शन शोन एज इट मूव द रोलर विल टेन टू turn left turn right go straight turn left and right alternately um let's see how we can solve this problem since in this series we are also going through the basics of physics so uh, let's see what's the relation between omega which is angular velocity and v o angular velocity is defined as how many radians an object moving in a circle covers per second so let's say an object covers one full circle in a second its angular velocity will then be 2 pi radians per second as we know that one full circle is 2 pi radians and what will be its linear velocity its linear velocity will be we know that this outer circumference of circle is 2 pi times the radius so its linear velocity will be 2 pi r meters per second now um if we see what's the difference between this expression right here and this expression it's only r which means if we multiply both sides by r then these two expressions become same so we can say that omega times r is equal to v or omega is equal to v upon r so let's see if we can use this expression to solve this problem if angular velocity is equal to linear velocity upon r and let's say if this roller is pushed when this roller is pushed this part and this part are same but when it starts rolling when the roller will let's say reach this point we can see that r which is this r the radius is getting smaller and this r let's say it's capital r remains the same so what will happen to angular velocity if the angular velocity uh, on the left hand side on the left hand side if r is decreasing then angular velocity will tend to increase on this side so omega is going trying to increase on this side so this this part of the cone will try to revolve faster while this part of the cone will keep revolving at the same pace because the uh, the radius in this section is not changing it's straight right so this is a straight line cd and ab is a slightly bent not straight um so um what will happen is that this cone when it is trying to revolve faster and this is not revolving so fast you can tell intuitively that the cone will tend to move in this direction because this section is moving trying to move faster and this is not responding so it, this will kind of pull pull this part of the cone to this section and the cone will turn left so this is the correct option you can also try um doing this experiment um by yourself it shouldn't be very difficult you you can extend your fingers like this let's say this is the index finger of your right hand and this is the index finger of your left hand and if you take a pencil and roll it and then try to see what happens what should happen is that uh, your pencil should turn left and then fall down eventually that's what will happen to this cone as well if this line was bent um, a little bit more because the weight of the cone will also try and pull it 
to this side and the cone will eventually fall if these lines are long enough so you can even try this experiment and if you do it three or four times you will get it you will see that that's what's happening 